Thank now, you. it was the iconic film that made carrying a comb cool and wearing red lipstick rebellious. Yeah, here to break down the best looks from Greece are beauty masters Michael Brown and right. Phil the man Gala. Phil, 50s hairstyle. <laughs> I mean, so I love this trend. Excellent. I'm loving it. <laughs> Talk to me about some of the 50s trends. Well, some of the 50s trends well, the hair. well. Yeah, the hair, well, you know, it was a lot of pomade, a lot of grease in the hair. The, Not very healthy for the your women, hair. The women had big hair, they had curly hair. A lot of them wore wigs at the time because they didn't have blow dryers and all that, so it was all about big roller sets and all that. So how did they get that look? Like, they to get these amazing curls to hold? And you see that Catherine yeah. Michaels, she's still... <laughs> yeah, the look absolutely. is still popular today, isn't it? Well, it, roller setting, roller setting. But back then they did wet sets and they used beer as the setting lotion, whereas now they use hairspray and they use stuff like yeah. that. But they used to use beer because the yeast used to set the hair. Really? So, yeah. yeast. Wow. Yeah, no. <laughs> Unless you got the infection, which is hell. <laughs> so the drunk as well as getting big hair. Exactly. And they wore wigs, of course, as well. I know, well. the colours are back in for the ladies too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It, 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 it goes around in cycles, so you can see that the girl, girls, people like Madonna, Katy Perry, Gaga, they bring it all back. Well, for boys, grease in the hair, that's not healthy. It's pomade, it's more like a pomade. lubricant. It's pomade. more like a lubricant that they use in the hair. Oh. See, Katy Perry's sporting the short like dandruff for the boys back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> nasty. Brushing it out in yeah, the white flag. Absolutely. So nasty. So nasty. <laughs> Michael, you know the pink ladies, they were considered the rebels, weren't they? Yeah. At Rydell High. But what were their key beauty looks in terms of makeup? Well, their skin was actually quite natural. So, I mean, I mean, today we see a lot of BB creams and that kind of thing, keeping the skin looking fresh and youthful. But, but what they did do well is that lash and that red lip, that classic 50s look. So the lash opens up the eyes and that blue base matte red lip is, is hot. It's hot. It's hot now. So it's great. Yeah. But then see... Yeah, It was just brushing out big roller sets, and she looked smoky. She did. And I think also once you got and those tights on, exactly. <laughs> and once she got those tights on as well, she was unbelievable. And was she your pin-up, Olivia, too, back in the day? No, oh, not really. I'm, I was, I was a little bit young for that. My pin-up was more like Madonna, I think. Oh, Cindy. So <laughs> okay. You know so what's 80s. funny is I remember seeing this, and my mum was really disappointed that she had to become a bad girl to be liked. Uh -huh. <laughs> She Mrs. didn't Kruger. like the moral of the story. Mrs. Add Kruger. the cigarette and the liquid liner and a big hair in your heart. You That's know? right. Because yeah. she was very natural here, wasn't she? Yeah. Very, yeah. very pretty and I dewy. mean, the skin was glowing. She had a little bit of makeup on that liquid liner and a bit more shading in the socket is... Voila, look at that. Perfect. Well, boys, you yeah, may go hit the pool halls. Look at you two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I think we're just about done.